you are welcome ladies and gentlemen to the mufa space on youtube please if you are new consider subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell what's up y'all we're about to go live right now we're dropping a new video on the 14th and we're cheering to black history month i mean every day is black history day and every month is black history month for me but especially this one is still um sticking and stay tuned let me try to bring in the boss because you guys saw the post about the african music project that is about to happen so we've got, got the privilege to have the boss himself rick ross online brought to you that means for him you know an african project you know his whole his overview about africa the african music state how he's feeling the new not new i mean afro beats and the new artists those who have been doing stuff from time till now so this conversation is about africa Af african music black music you know what I'm saying? Rick Ross, Stone Boy, hip hop, merging with, you know, Africa, Ghana, the whole continent. So I think it's going to be interesting. Bit. Ah, welcome the boss. Welcome the biggest boss. My brother, my brother, my brother, my brother. First and foremost, I need you to pull up. Uh, that's it. Cheers, cheers, cheers. <laughs> you already know we're gonna hold yes. it up. We're gonna hold it up. We're gonna hold it up. You already know. We're gonna hold it up. We're gonna hold it up. We're gonna hold it up. You already know. Popping bottles. Do me a favor and pull me my glass right now. I gotta have a, I gotta have a toast with my brother, a young hustler. So exactly. I got a few questions. I just I want to ask you a few questions. Quick interview with Rose. You with that? I'm ready. I'm ready. 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 Do, ready. Do me a favor and bust. Um. Let's start with the blue. I'm gonna start with the blue. So Stone Boy, everybody that's tuned in, Ricky Rose, I wanna just say, you know, I love Ghana. Definitely. I Ghana love, loves you too. You already know I love Ghana. Love the vibes, love the energy. Every time I've ever went, you already know people show Rose love like like you know, nowhere else. So I wanted to start this with you. I gotta shout out Brett. Shout out Brett Barry for to making Brett. this happen. Plug in me with you. Big boss himself. You know All right. what I'm saying? All right, so look. It's Ricky Rose, Stone Boy, Ghana. They tuned in. This is what America want to know on our side before we come to your side. What American artists you would say influenced you and your career the most? Uh, any American artists that would have influenced my career the most would be Definitely a hip hop artist, you know, because of the vibes, you know, because of the consciousness, you know, of the vibes. One of my favorites is Talib Kweli as well, you know, from Time. Yeah, definitely everybody knows about Jay Z. Yes, definitely the boss himself, you as well, to be honest. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, ever since you, you came into the game, you've brought a different spirit, you know, into, into the industry. And I'm really feeding off of that inspirational vibes that you always put in because you know and you see yourself you know like your your videos the stuff that you tell people or say always go a long way to get us to become what we become you get me so we keep on fighting we keep on pushing and that's it for me so hip-hop itself is not only necessarily one artist out of america you know hip-hop itself through me so no yeah so i love that and just for all the American artists that's watching, I just want to throw upon you, my brother. Um, once again, it's all about Ghana. But this one question I want to ask you. If you could collaborate with one artist on this side, and not Rosé, if you could collaborate with one artist, because you never know, that might be a phone call Rosé could make. We of course. <laughs> Who would that one? One artist beat. He's. Oh, gee, who's that going to be? Who's that going to be? I think that's going to be Rihanna for me. I've always said that. Oh, Taylor Swift. I've always said that. I've always wanted to Taylor or Rihanna. Yeah. Thank you to the females, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> On the male side, it's 
got to be you and then on the on the female side it's got to be Rihanna or Taylor Swift for oh, now man. Rihanna I'm, I'm most definitely with you I'm absorbing that Rihanna energy and you know as far as the collaboration with you and boss we could get that done this week whoa the I'm whole world about, just head down we get and the only I reason just... I'm not gonna say tonight is because I got another dinner I've been celebrating my birthday <laughs> all week my brother. but I'm just letting you know we gonna do that okay so of course of course look, I just wanna I want to ask this this for everybody who watching my brother watching you I'm a huge fan of you but this is a question I want to ask in Ghana mm -hmm. in the last, last 10 years of course with the African mute the explosion I'm gonna describe it as a as an explosion it's always been a, a, amazing but in the last 10 years how would you describe Ghana and the African music set changing the most over the last decade thank you over the last decade I can I can boldly say that um Ghana music has always contributed to the influence of, of African music you know as we all see it you know globally and Ghana music over the last decade has actually influenced the sound in terms of um the Afrobeat sound you know nonetheless you know Ghana music actually has a pivotal influence when it comes to um the Afrobeats of today which would be you know the crossbreed and we call that high life music high life which is like the high life, life music it's for you know high life like i mean high life like lifestyle yes 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 vibe. So, so that's actually the um the the, the, the heart it's it's it, it's like to me i've always said this i said this on ebro's show i said this on um on, on sway's show breakfast i told them and they found out that high life music has always been a contributor to the core of the sound that we have today and that's what has been even before the um the last 10 years you know what i'm saying so i think that's what i can say and artists like myself bridging the gaps actually bringing in all music of black origin which would be tapping into the jamaican side of as well or um to spread it wide the caribbean side and we have my brother <laughs> uh black sheriff who's also came through with some mad ass energy, you know, like the high life feeling, but still gives us some hip hop kind of energy that that's like something that took the world by storm, of explosion. course. Explosion. 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 Yes, it did, course, explosion. So for the past 10 years, we have actually been pushing, I mean, the producers here from Ghana as well have been doing magic, ooh, like ooh, producing ooh. some amazing masterpieces like you know, we got producers like Street Beats. We have producers like Mixmaster Gazi. Like, I love that. Like, I love that. And, 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 not, yeah. not, and, and not cutting you off. And while you speaking to producers, let, let's show some love and highlight who would you name are the three hottest producers right now in West Africa? Right now, if you could name three. I, know, woo, I definitely mention street beats that's guy that's street guy's beat. Why, why? Street beat, street because, beat. yeah he's behind some of the craziest records on you know on the continent on the continent if you mean if you mean ghana i mean i can base it on ghana <laughs> for now well, based it on um, <clears throat> based it on ghana for me um definitely dj breezy is one of my boys he's, he's done some magic as well Production. Breezy. Gazi as well. Gazi, what is the guy do. doing crazy? So we're, we're gonna put together all these boys. We're gonna make sure whenever we get the opportunity to sit in a in, in, in a place, we bring all these brothers, you know, to Florida and make sure we, we you know we stem it out properly. See? You already I'm excited. I can't wait. I got another question for you. Just when I think of the club, last time I was out that way, the fashion, the way the pants was the gear the night nightlife <laughs> how involved <laughs> when we talk about the nightlife okay if we go out to the hottest club what's the hottest club right now in ghana right at the hottest club has got to be ace hey <laughs> <Ace, laughs> what it do ricky rose can't wait to come out there okay ace shout out uh, yeah. Pablo and ace. But definitely can't... you know we've had we've had um nightlife being held down by 
some of the creme de la creme which will be twist as well has been holding it down you know from time and and onyx as well been holding it down from time so i think these are my favorite spots and we have some beach fronts as well that you can go to which will be sometimes you have a laura you have polo beach club you know ghana parties from dirty december it's like bananas here in ghana and we can't wait for you to experience that this december because it's been a long time you came here so man, you know man. you need to, to experience it for yourself man mm. i can't wait to come when we come we're gonna hit the streets we're gonna celebrate <laughs> and i need look to look this what i, I want to know this too how involved is bel-air in the nightlife as well like do we go everywhere in ghana and they holding those Bel Air bottles up like we do in Miami. Cause when you out here on South Beach, on South Beach in Miami, yeah, we, club live. We do we holding them bottles up. I mean, how do, all the Luke Bel Air bottles I big run, out there? I never run out. Every human being knows that I Ooh. love Bel Air. That's what I love. We do. You know, what I mean, when I go to the, the clubs out here, it's, 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 it's pe people love it. We love it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, Stone Boy, we're going to keep Definitely. building, get Definitely. that record together that you need me to do. Because mm -hmm. we're going to come right back and we're going to world premiere it and drop it on them right here so they know we about our business and we real with it. Definitely. But look, right, but look, but look, Slab. Slab, you done, been, you, done been, you done been to Ghana with me? Let, let's shout out a few places over in Africa. Come on, let's go. You know, Ghana is the shit. Um, one time for Culture of War. Um, Ecuador, you know, yeah, Mad. You know, um, 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 shout out to South Africa, of course, of Jay course. Bird, Nairobi. <laughs> I yeah. mean, you know what I'm saying? Morocco, Casablanca, everywhere, man. If we coming, just Nigeria. know we coming, man. Oh, you remember Nigeria, remember Kenya. You know what I'm saying? We don't get the whole country stuff. Much love, Stone Boy. I love you. Let's get, let's keep building. You I gonna be you bigger than ever, baby. You just starting, brother. You, you. just starting. Bless. You just starting. I love you love one time. Toast. Done. Boom. Respect. Boom. All right, Ghana. Big respect. Blessings. No flow. <laughs>